folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today, all the arms, all the servos, and some eyes. Barb Makes Things! Previously, I was inspired to make my own wearable robot companion. And an octopus feels about right. They generally feel like I'm juggling eight things and I'm way more graceful in water than on land. I've been having suspicion that the wire that I'm using for these straw mechanism arms isn't the best option. It might be keeping the arms from re-extending as much as they could, so I decided to replace them with fishing line. Unfortunately, this makes it harder for you to see, but it does work better. So I did this for the four straw mechanism arms. I put all of the arms back on the base and connected the cable controlled ones to their ball chains and servo horns, which go exactly where they should now that the guides are there. This still has a lot of stuff and not a lot of space, so it's definitely good to start with these wires loose and tighten them from the ends of the arms. Next, I needed to make some adjustments to the floor piece. The top of the octopus head will attach to the end of these pillars, and I needed to start higher up. I also decided to add guide holes on the pillars to get the strings from the straw mechanism arms up to the top servo. The pillars are there anyway, might as well make use of them. Stepping away from the arms, this octopus needs eyes. And it turns out that Adafruit is making this mask thing with uh, screens and eyes and clear plastic capuchons to kind of give them shape. I'm a little obsessed with this at the moment. I kind of want to put eyes on everything. The dashboard of my car. So it comes with this default set of eyes, but you can modify them. I started from their fizz gig alternate eyes, adjusted size, changed the bitmap for the iris, and generally fiddled until I had them octopies. It's not terribly difficult, but the syntax is very easily broken, at which point you get these blue eyes. Like English double quotation marks are different than double universal quotes, and my text editor kept changing them on me, but I got there eventually. Next, I'm gonna have to break these up and 3D model the headpiece that holds these where I want them. I also need to add some lights and make the skin that's gonna cover this whole skeleton. Did you think that this is what it was gonna look like in the end? So to control these arms, I'm thinking a Raspberry Pi Zero because it will fit and because I can get a bonnet for it that'll help me control and power the servos and because I would eventually like to try to get my octopus to make sounds like record something in, process it, and play it back, which I could potentially do with pure data on a pie. We'll see, I've ordered parts, I need to test it out. If you liked this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy, thanks for watching, have a great day.